That was a horrible clap. Come on, Kristen. And in today's video, now, I don't usually get sick often, but whenever I do, I don't feel good. I am prepared. I just wanted to discuss with you my little sickness strategies to not get sick, basically, and or help someone out there if you are not feeling good as well. I'm not feeling too superb. I mean, I can tell that my body is trying to get sick. I'm not somebody that technically gets sick often. Usually whenever I get sick, it's in the form of a demolishing, torturizing, terrorizing, astronomical migraine, severe pain level 20 on the scale of 1 to 10. It used to be my migraines back in the day. Now they're actually a whole lot better considering a lot of steps that I went to take in order to prevent them from getting as severe and as much. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically just watch this video. I'm going to link it right here if I can remember. Remember, Crystal, come on, right here. And or I'll put it in the description box below because I really genuinely want to help a lot of people out there not get sick as much, especially when it comes to a migraine because migraine is my worst fear and most worst pain I've ever experienced in my life. And I know pain because I'm a weenie. <laughs> basically. Oh my, I think it's not just blew out of my nose. Another thing that I feel like I have helped myself in not getting as much is allergies because I used to have allergies whether I grew out of them or I changed something up in my diet, which that is what I think that has happened. Spoiler alert, it's meat and dairy. -er. And this is not some type of a, you know, go vegan and I'm going to promote vegan to you and push it in your face because I really genuinely don't care what you eat. I mean, I like to advocate it a little bit. Now, I don't want to say advocate because when you say advocate, then everybody's on your asshole thinking that you're trying to be on their asshole and they get all defensive because they think that meat is the way to go. I, I don't care. I'm not here to tell you what to eat. I just do it for me, myself, and my body and my health personally. Anywho, so long story short, where was I going with this? Oh, I'm very in tune with my body. That's step one. You have to be really in tune with your body. Whenever you see some symptoms coming and arising, that's when you take action. So a little back history, Brandon, Brandy Rand, my main man. <laughs> I sound such like a cheese ball these days. He was cutting asphalt and or scrubbing asphalt and I think it got up in his nose and I think he had some chemical burn slash reaction allergy symptom that arise from it and he got some severe cold or flu. I don't want to say flu because it's not that severe but I mean he he doesn't complain at all like ever. So whenever he is a little not his normal self and a little moany and groany and or taking medicine which he and I usually never do unless of course like I explained earlier if I get a migraine or such then I know that something's wrong because he has been medicating himself up to the point of loony and that's hard to tell because he's already loony. <laughs> I just nodded again. I need to stop doing that. Okay he got some kind of sickness and or we thought it was an allergy but apparently it is something of a sickness nature because I feel a little sick and bobbed. You just wake up in the middle of the night and your throat feels like it is on fire, fuming out gasoline sparklers everywhere. You know what I'm saying? That's what it felt like because, you know, drainage when you're sleeping and or laying or, you know, you have severe allergies way up in your systems, fuming. You just got all this mucus that you're trying to produce and it's just not coming out. It's sitting there. So I take action right off the bat whenever I feel these symptoms arise. Tease. Teas can work wonders. If you're somebody like me that really doesn't want to dive into the medication right off the bat, and don't just automatically go to do whatever you want and or your doctor tells you to do, but don't just think that an antibiotic is gonna work because a lot of doctors nowadays just prescribe an antibiotic because you're thinking that you have an infection when in reality, it's just a viral infection, which a viral infection is something that you just can't kill with the antibiotic. It's killing all the bacteria in your gut, really. It's a viral infection. It's something that you have to pass on, AKA just get over. But you can relieve some of the symptoms. Take action and this peppermint tea right here, people, will help 
you wonders. Peppermint is a very soothing, calming type of uh, effect that does to the nasal cavities and the throatatures cavities, esophagus, layers, soothing. Really good tea. I'm not sponsored, but I do have an affiliate link with Amazon on any and all these products that you can find in the description below. Sure, I would suggest getting some of this. The second thing, it's a licorice root tea by Stash. I just like this tea any given day, but whenever I'm sick, I kind of want to drink some more of it. sweet things so get that chamomile tea all these are caffeine free by the way i don't drink caffeine which there are two opposing arguments with sickness and caffeine one being it dehydrates and can lower your immune system and the other one being it increases alertness and awareness while being under the weather and, and you know if you want caffeine put your little caffeine in there i don't know what to tell you It's also good for the belly and body and it makes you feel relaxed and all that good holy jazz. This is another one that's very good. It also has peppermint infused in there. This is Cup of Calm by this brand right here. That has a handful of powerful leaves and herbs that have been known to have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. Very, very, very good and soothing is what I'm drinking right now and even better and a lot easier than what you think, make your own tea. Mix some lemon, ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, basil, boil all that up, strain it into your favorite coffee cup and you are well on your way to sicklessness, people. Another thing you're going to want to do is get you some healthy things cooking and rumbling and stewing up in the kitchen. So instead of reaching for all those processed, packaged, refined carb, sugar, fast food junk that is completely void of essential vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that your body is needing more than ever, reach for more dark leafy greens, vegetables, fruits, seeds, nuts, beans, legumes, spices, herbs, citruses that are jam packed with anti anti-inflammatory and healing effects. And before taking a little stroll into the soup aisle, just be aware that a lot of these canned soups are a little more processed and a lot less healthier than what they seem to appear. Your best bet and better option is to make some homemade fresh soups from fresh ingredients and that way you get the entirety of that nutrition. More nutrients, vitamins, minerals that your body needs at this point when it's in dire need to be healthy, all it can be. I can go on. So what I like to do is celery, which is superb, even better, paired with carrots. And even better, you see what I'm doing here? I'm making my own little homemade vegan not so chicken noodle soup. And I had a little bit more water in there, but I've already sucked that down. I'm really trying to get this mucus moving, people. I had to either use French style beans by Del Monte. Or come, or come, or come, or come, or come, chameleon. Or these Italian beaners, which I have been really into lately. I just love how flat they are. Are there really beans that are that size? And or are there a whole bunch of farmers that are smashing them up with an iron? a little question you google it or figure it out yourself i just have never seen a flat green bean before put these two and or alone separate however you want your little noodles to taste chop you up and steam you some celery and carrots oh don't you forget that onion this is going to help you know kill bacteria, vitamin c nutrition electrolytes something and low sodium garbanzo beans. Of course, it's got all the protein, magnesium, iron, potassium, calcium, all the good bundle of joy greatness that your body needs in order to sustain you and last you for your day. If you are going to be having a long day and still having to work whenever you're just feeling in the dumps, get you a big old bowl of all this stuff. Oh, don't you forget adding now this is a kicker we got to put some sage in there people it's supposed to ward off all the devil evil spirits right well it does that for your immune system too all the bad ones of course yeah keep a few in there because you know you want to be a little spicy and then i also like to pair it with garlic and herb oh my gosh 
pinch perfect and I like to do low sodium because who wants to really bloat their selves up in a time of being sickly? Ner no, no, thank you. But you can add your salt and pepper at the end or to the taste or whatever. Speaking of sodium, if you're trying to dry out those mucus bunnies in there, let me just tell you. This is pickling salt, which my mother swears by, so she gives me this every year because she knows I'm never sick. So I have a whole bunch of this saved up. But I feel an itchy coming. Oh my gosh. That's another thing. When you get to the part where you're draining up a storm and your nose is basically Niagara Falls City here, you want to get you a whole bunch of Kleenexes. Don't use toilet paper, okay? Because then you'll have a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer like I am having right here. This is how you get this look. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. It took me not long to get it. I'm telling you, Niagara Falls. So, instead of ruining your nose and nostrils <clears throat> and skin and looking older than what you should, <laughs> go ahead and get you some Kleenex. Not sponsored. Wish I was. Come on, Kleenex. Work with me. They're really good and soothing, okay? I've been loving the Kleenex. Back to the pickling salt. You want to pour this in your bowl of water, not tea. You put your head in the boiling tub of water. Obviously, don't put your face directly into the steamy pot of water. And definitely do this with caution. And kids, don't do this at As home. As you could severely burn yourself from the steam and or accidentally spill it on your body. Don't suck it up through your nose, people. That would burn out. And be very careful. It's hot. And what I like to do is just breathe it and it'll go up in your nose. Breathe it and it'll go up in your nose. And you can put your head over it and put the little blanket over your head if you really want to. All you really need to do is just put a rag over you like this. And if you want to get really crafty with it, you can go ahead and put you some lemon with the pickling salt and some herbs. And it'll go up in your nose. And hopefully it will dry out all the mucus runny run runs. Now y'all, some people underestimate the power of oatmeal, just like with the pickling salt. And Not only your... does the hot and steaminess help to clear out decongestions, but the soothing, mild, bland, yet satisfying flavor and texture of oatmeal that's a good source of vitamins and nutrients that are easy to eat and can help stimulate your immune system. Now that'll make you feel good. Get you a hot steamy bath, get you some nice fleece covers, bundle up, get you a hoodie that you didn't spill oatmeal on previously. <gasps> Ooh. Another thing I like to do is lube up. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> on a serious note, this Kiehl's is perfection. It's butter stick, I have been loving. It's a really good chapstick for whenever your nose and lips get chapped. Oh, come on. What is that? This is some good stuff. Do you see all that? Literally, I'm telling you, I have really been rashing up my nose. I hope that doesn't stay there. It's on fire. I think it's camera shy. Oh, it's getting redder by the second. Oh, hide that. Another thing you need is some Vixie poo. Now, oh, put it on the rash. Ouch, ouch. Oh my gosh. Now it's really gonna be fuming. Hold please. What I like to do is a little dab a dab dab under. Oh, I did it again. Ah, shit. That's why you need the Kleenex, people. You really don't want to put the Vicks on after you've already rubbed yourself raw. Just set it up against your nose like this if you can hold it like this all day long. It will help, trust me. You can put it on your chest at night if it's already seeping into your chest. This is some premeditated work before the crime arises. <laughs> Oh my God, I did it again. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Another thing that I ended up opting out to doing if none of these things are working and you're just having a hard time with Niagara Falls City just pouring out your nose, I did take a Zyrtec because at first I thought it was allergies. You know, hay fever, itchy nose, watery eyes scratchiness, all that stuff. Well, just wanted to let you know, beware of the Zyrtec because this sucker will dry you the heck out. Now, I know I'm complaining about Niagara Falls, but I don't know. It's either you want to be Niagara Falls or you want to be dried up city. And you have to pick which one you want the most. I will say when I did take this, it did help form the clumps. <laughs> This is so embarrassing. You know, where I can blow it out at least because when it's Niagara Falls, it's just drip, 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 and it's just up and down and it's not even going anywhere or doing anything, just pissing you off. You know, that's pretty much where I'm at all the time. I'm always pissed off. But in regards to allergies and sickness and stuff, this did dry me out pretty good. I would take half of it. If you're somebody that doesn't take medication like me, because this 
one 10 milligrams dried me out. So beware of this. But if you are already congested and or dried out, I don't have any more of what I wanted to show you unless Brandon has some. I'm telling you, we're some sick little fools these days. This will decongest you. This will help get rid of your headaches, stuffiness, body aches if you're fevered. Now, I haven't had that yet, but if it does lead into something like that, this is my go-to. And finally, I really like to suck on things. And lately, <laughs> that is so bad. No, cut that out. Are these cough drops honey limon drops if you are not able to make you some tea i'm telling you the tea really does work wonders i'm not just hyping it up i love to drink me some tea during this time but you know when in doubt cough drop it out is my new saying of the century and last but not least out of all of this stuff people drink you your fluids i cannot explain to you how much water will help things flow and groove along right out of your system more quickly and or alleviate a lot of the severity of symptoms arising and or happening in your current situation cheers get you some water go ahead mm -hmm. And what I like to do, if you can, pop that water in the microwave for a couple of minutes and that way you can loosen things up. So those are a few of my healthy, happy, home slash easy going medication if you're going to go that route. Remedies, tell me what some of your remedies are because I would like to know. I really like them to be healthy, happy, and whole, if you know what I'm saying. I really hope you did something great for your body and I really, really hope you at least try to stay ahead of the game. Let's not get sick this season. Let's be happy, jolly, go lucky, and full of sicklessness. Okay, talk to you later.